What's up? My name is TechNova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through a couple possible fixes for DirectX errors that you could be receiving while you're trying to play Battlefield 2042. These errors are caused by the game and the way that it was made, not necessarily your hardware all the time. There's a couple of fixes reported by the community that actually work, so I'll be running through them in this video now. However, if they don't work for you, I highly recommend you check out the link in the description down below for the latest information. It's a thread on EA's forums where they have received official responses from EA themselves, such as this one over here. They appreciate the DX Diag reports that they're getting, and of course, they're working on it. So let's run through a couple of fixes that may fix the DirectX errors for you, though if they don't work, do head across to that forum link and leave your response there as well. So let's go ahead and begin with the simplest one, and of course, the least drastic one. For this, you'll need to fire up the game itself, whether it's on Steam or anywhere else. When you get in game, hit O to open up the options, or of course click the accessibility down here, head across to the display tab at the very top, then on the video section over here, simply scroll all the way down to the bottom and turn off future frame rendering. This is one of the solutions that I've heard of working for a few people, so that's assuming that you can even get to the main menu to turn this off. On top of this, if you haven't already, do try and update your Windows and of course your NVIDIA graphics card driver as well, you may want to use DDU for a complete clean uninstall and reinstall. Though, assuming that doesn't work because those are relatively simple to pull off, what are the other solutions reported by the community? Well, the first of them requires you to move the game from whatever drive it's on to the C drive if you have it on a different drive. That seems to be a reoccurring theme with fixes in these later videos for newer games. Not too sure why, but if it works for you, awesome. Otherwise, the other solution that I've heard of is increasing the page file size on Windows. Hit start, type in performance, and then open up, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Inside of here, on the advanced tab, you'll find a virtual memory section. Click change here, and simply uncheck this box at the very top, and for each of the drives on your computer, go ahead and set it to no paging file, then click set. We'll be doing this for all of the drives on your computer, assuming you have more than one. Now, what you're going to want to do is pick the fastest drive in your computer, whether that's an NVMe SSD or a particularly fast SSD, etc. Or if you only have one drive, select it and then click custom size up here or system managed size. Basically, you'll want to set the initial and the maximum to about half of the RAM that you have in your computer. This will allow some memory on your computer to be allocated as extra RAM for when you run out of it. On the forum in particular, they said set the maximum size to about 16 gigabytes. Though of course, thing it to system managed size is usually better than nothing, okay, and it'll require you to restart. Upon restarting, you should come back to this menu here, virtual memory, and you'll see how much is allocated here if you chose for the system to allocate memory. I've got 19 gigs here, and the game runs just fine for me. And on top of this, here comes the dreaded point that you are missing. If I were you, I'd wait for an official fix for this, but if you're absolutely desperate and willing to try anything, if you're still using Windows 10, upgrading to Windows 11 has been reported to work in some cases. Though, of course, I definitely wouldn't be going with this as I much prefer using Windows 10 over 11. And of course, this game is incredibly buggy and unoptimized as is. So depending on what you want to do, here's where you can pick. Otherwise, go ahead and drop into that forum link in the description down below to leave your two cents on that thread, hoping that EA comes around to actually fixing this game. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I really do hope a solution in this video worked for you. Otherwise, hopefully they do get around to fixing it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.